whatever we want to talk about, we're going to talk about it. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of E4 Explosive Podcast. I'm Corey, and this is Anthony Davis, uh, a professor. And I will let you kind of tell me your your background. I'm Associate Professor of Economics at Duquesne University and the Milton Friedman Distinguished Scholar at the Foundation for Economic Education. There's a couple topics we could talk about. Um, you're definitely a pro in probably all of them, and economics is definitely your thing. So I think um, maybe we could start with... Um, the immigration type, you know, topic right. of what, what I remember watching a video that you did. I think it was you at IHS and it was like, it was a cool graph of like, like how much money immigration brings in and jobs and right. like all this really cool information. So like, I didn't know any of that. I only see what's on the, the tube, yeah. you know what I mean? And, and that's what you're supposed to believe. So can you kind of give me like a little like information of like, you know, the, you know, the A, B, and Cs of, of sure. immigration? Well, there, there are, of course, pluses and minuses, and the minuses get a lot of press. So let me start yeah. with the pluses okay. on, on immigration. And that is, um, if we talk about the number of American jobs that immigrants take that would have otherwise gone to Americans, and there's all sorts of discussion you can have on that topic. But if you put that aside for a moment and ask a different question, how many jobs have immigrants created and there you find an astounding thing. You know, you can name five immigrants that founded uh, Sun Microsystems, eBay, Google, uh, and I forget the other two yeah. big big companies that together employ more immigrants than have, or excuse, excuse me, they've created more jobs than there are immigrants who come into the country. Sure. You know, these five companies together are worth something like three trillion dollars, and that's something that we have now: three trillion dollars worth of worth created by just five immigrants or, wow. or children of, of immigrants. And so it, it raises the question, well, look, um, what's the benefit to immigrants? Well, one of the things is, if you think about it, the immigration process requires that you do what? You're leaving your home country where you grew up and your, your family and your friends are, going to a different country with a different culture, possibly a different language, different mores, all of this stuff. Why? You're going because you're looking to build a better life for yourself and your family. Now, what sorts of attributes are those? Those are the attributes of an entrepreneur. Yeah. That's exactly the sort of people we want coming into the country. So the immigration process itself is a filtration mechanism. That what come the people that come through that process more more so than for the average population are are entrepreneurial and so that you know they create jobs they end up creating more jobs than they occupy damn i never thought of it like that so that's that's one of the upsides another upside one of the things that you hear is well immigrants come in and you know they don't pay taxes and the fact is they do pay taxes there's an interesting thing here the the go federal government will issue what's called an itin and i forget what the initials stand for but the itin does the same thing that a social security number does, but you issue it to people who, for whatever reason, don't have social security numbers. Amongst them, illegal immigrants. Hmm. And so if, if I'm an illegal immigrant, I can get an ITIN, and now I'm paying federal taxes, I'm paying social security, Medicare taxes, and the interesting thing is, because I'm illegal, although I'm paying into social security and Medicare, I can't withdraw from it. I get no benefit. So in, in in a sense, illegal immigrants are net positives to the social security and Medicare systems. They contribute, but they don't draw out. Wow. So they're paying for something that they that they'll never get. They'll never right. get like yeah. they would. Now that's on the plus side. On on the minus side, you know, you hear things about you hear some reasonable arguments and some unreasonable arguments. And I think some of the unreasonable arguments are immigrants are taking American jobs. The, you know, and the fact is the numbers indicate that they're contributing more jobs than, than they occupy. And even then, the jobs that they that immigrants, particularly illegal immigrants, tend to occupy are jobs that Americans don't want to occupy in the first place. Yeah. So in that sense, they're not taking anything. Um, but some of the more reasonable arguments say things like, well. We've got people coming into this country f with different cultures, different mores, and that changes what we have here. And that's correct. It, it does. But in some sense, to say that you know, we have this American culture and, and to claim it's monolithic, which it, it isn't, we're a bunch of little subcultures that happen to be unified by a political boundary, 
um, these things evolved because precisely because our parents and grandparents were immigrants and came in with their own mores and cultures and so forth. And, and we all make do. And the way we make do is that the immigrants adopt to an extent the, the culture that's here in the U.S. And the Americans who are here alter a little bit. And we start to adopt the culture that, that in part, that they brought with them. And so it's this give and a take that, that makes, uh, ends up making the United States culturally a very interesting place to live.